Hey friends, welcome back to vlog. This is what a typical day of studying looks like for me in exam season. Wow! I usually wake up between 6.45 and 7 a.m. The first thing I do is hydrate to replace the water vapor lost during sleep. Then I do some push-ups. I've been trying to get to 100, but I've been stuck at the 70 mark for quite a while now. And then I have a 60 to 90 second cold shower. And this is just to get the adrenaline pumping to get me in that forward center of mass ready for starting the day. After making breakfast, I actually head outside on the balcony to eat it. And this is to try and maximize light exposure. And this is a tip I picked up from the Huberman Lab podcast. Light exposure early in the day helps time the early morning cortisol surge, which is important for waking us up and to synchronize our circadian clock. I'm also fortunate not too many people were awake at this time to watch me walk around and eat an egg sandwich. Afterwards, I put the kettle on. Usually tea is my beverage of choice in the morning, but for some reason I didn't sleep so well, so I chose coffee this morning. Then I head in for a short time of devotion. I like to do this in the morning just so I don't forget it and I feel it does set me up nicely for the day. And then I typically reflect on that with a short prayer. And then I head over to the library and here you can see a glorious view of Robinson Front Court. In the library, I do have my favorite spot. It's this little side room in which I can just spread out all my things and I don't need to be disturbed. And I usually sit with my laptop on top of quite a few books. I keep my eyes level or actually facing slightly upwards. And this actually activates certain alertness neural circuits in the brain, which will hopefully help me focus on my work rather than falling back to sleep. And if you're wondering what I was actually doing, I was going through some Anki cards because this was a topic I hadn't visited in a long time. I was just trying to recall what and all I actually remembered from the lectures and what stuff I had to look up again. I always break up my morning deep work session with a banana break outside. I like a banana just because it's a healthy snack. When I come back, I start planning out an essay and I believe this one was about dopaminergic neurons. I usually take my lunch just after 1 p.m. and it consists of a sandwich with an orange. And then recently I've swapped out one of the slices of bread for a dessert, which is carrot sticks dipped in peanut butter. Afterwards, I prepare another cup of coffee to take to the library in a flask. I'm just um, walking to the university library now post lunch. And yeah, I'm going to hope to hopefully do two timed essays back to back. So our exam length is five hours, which is quite long. So I'm trying to build stamina. So for the last week, I've been writing like one timed essay as a go. And now I'm going to try to do two. And then, so we're about, how many, like 12 days out from the exam. So maybe in like the final like five days, I'll attempt a couple of full length mock exams and see how I hold up. This was the corridor where I was working in the university library. And this is one study tip is try change up your workspace if possible. I feel it helps give that slight novelty and help us study for longer periods of time. The first essay I wrote was okay because I'd already planned it out before. But the second essay was quite hard because it was an experimental design question. So there's a lot of head scratching. And in fact, we were kicked out of the UL at 4.30. So I had to come back home and start working on it. At 5.30, even though I hadn't finished the essay, I head out for some exercise. And this is because it was too nice a day not to go out. Alright guys, how's it going? Really scenic route, it's really nice in the sun. Uh, finally put the sunnies to use. 
Um, and yeah, all around good vibes. Let's head back before we're late to uh, Christian Union. Come on, let's go. On the way back, I bumped into one of my friends. Then I stretched out and made sure to recover. And then at 6.30, I headed over for Christian Union, which they kindly provided dinner for us. And we had a really amazing Bible study out on the balcony and yeah, had some good discussions together. Afterwards, I came back to finish the essay, which I'd started and unfortunately it took a lot longer than expected. So clearly I have some work to do. And then I did the washing up. Usually I batch all the dishes together and do it in one go to save time. And then I talk to my mum on FaceTime while eating my post in a snack. I like having a cup of warm milk because milk is rich in an amino acid called tryptophan. And this is a precursor of melatonin, which is a hormone that helps get your brain ready for sleep. Hey guys, what's going on? It's about 10, it's 10, 15 p.m. So I'm just about to wrap up now because I'm pretty exhausted, gonna head off to bed. Just wanted to give some practical tips, speak directly to the camera on maybe some things which might be useful for you and what I found helpful in designing my daily routine during this exam season. Um, one thing which I really enjoy is taking my breaks outside. And this is something which I covered in my video about the book Chatter. But there's something about the outdoors, maybe it's the fresh air, maybe it's like seeing some like green trees, um, which just energizes us a lot better and is able to like reset our focus ready for another bout of work, even if it's only for like five minutes. Another thing which I found, which I find helpful is doing something physical every day. So it's either running or cycling for me typically. Yeah, and I like to, even though I admit there's great health benefits doing it at the start of the day. I like to use kind of my run as a reward, kind of most of my work I want to do in the day I've done before my run. Um, then I can pretty much enjoy the evening. Then I took care of the oral hygiene and then I went straight to bed. So that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. I hope all the exams go well. Take care and bye for now.